people need to think I hate Dragon Ball. I don't hate it. And I want to tell you guys some things I like about it. Number one, the character arcs. I love the character arcs. I love seeing Tien go from a ruthless killer into a really badass character that is good. He becomes kinder, wiser, and becomes a really good person. His reason for becoming stronger changes from to kill people to become stronger than Goku. I like that. Wait, that sounds familiar. Never mind. I like how Go Piccolo is touched by Gohan's kindness and changes into a good person and becomes this really badass fatherly figure to Gohan. Seriously, why do these all sound so similar? I like how Vegeta goes from a ruthless kill. Okay, it does get a little old at a certain point. But you see the point. I like how Toriyama takes to the villain and turn him into good guy. Now, what I like about Toriyama is that he doesn't do this the way he, like, he doesn't do this like the way Naruto did it with Sasuke. It's not this like super big deal. Like you have to see the light. No, it just happens naturally. It's very natural, and I like it. Piccolo may have been a little forced. It may have been a little rushed. I mean, you know, we skipped over a lot of that year ago. Hans met with Piccolo. But it's still really, really, really good. Another thing I like about it is the fighting. Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z, specifically Dragon Ball, have a lot of well thought out fighting. It's not the best I've ever seen, but it's good. Nothing I'm saying in this video means I think it's the best I've ever seen, but it's all really good. The choreography is amazing. The fact that Goku and Red Dragon of that used the real punch, like the one inch punch. The one inch punch. The fact that Goku used a real move, like the one inch punch, is amazing. And things like the Mafuba. The Mafuba is a really cool attack. It's a great concept. It's nothing new, but I like it. Just like I like the Reaper Death Deal in Naruto. The Reaper Death Deal isn't anything new or creative. It's just you to steal away bad guys. Or in some cases, the good guys. Same thing here. The monsters are just used to steal away evil people. It's a cop-out sometimes, but the user will die. So it's not a cop-out. It's not like it's a get-out-of-jail-free card. With what a lot of stealing techniques are. Like in Naruto, when they were stealing away all the ninjas during the Four Quick Ninja War, sometimes you were kind of like, oh, you, so you steal them. What's the consequence for doing that? Nothing? Screw that, it's a cop-out. So you have to beat people by stealing them and you don't have any consequences? If you beat somebody with no consequences so easily, it's a cop-out. The Mothula is not a cop-out or the evil containment wave because it steals them away and I like that. If a user died, a uh, technique, technique, just technique in general. The way Goku uses after him, the way in the virtual Dragon Ball before he could fly, Goku would spin his tail around and fly like that is amazing. It's really good, creative, nice stuff. It doesn't really make sense that Goku can just spin his tail around because it's implied that uh, you would think, uh, I don't really see how he can do that, but he can do it, and it's cool. I mean, Transformation. The transformations in Z are epic. They're, they're, they're cool. Are they stupid, contrived, and overused? Yeah, but they're cool. And my whole thing is, is it good enough? Sometimes I can look past problems. When something like Naruto and Sasuke God Mode in Naruto. A quick example. In case you don't know, Naruto and Sasuke, two of the main characters of Naruto, attain the godlike power under circumstances that are kind of bullshit. The forms are so cool, and it's just so, and it's, the payoff is so worth it, in my opinion, and I enjoy it so much. I honestly don't mind it. I like I like these forms so much that I can look past the problem. The problem, and I did that a lot, and I can do that for a lot of the transformations in Z. I can do that for Super Saiyan 3, 
I don't care. It's an asshole, but it's cool enough. But the thing is, as you see more and more transformation, that's when I start having problems with it. But everything in Z is great. It's, it is. I love Super Saiyan, the first Super Saiyan transformation. That's up there to my favorite transformation in anime. Which I may do a video on that, by the way. And no, Gear Second doesn't win. No, but... The Super Saiyan transformation is awesome. I mean, the transformation is just great. The characters are also, they're really fun. That's one of the reasons I get so pissed when, pe when we don't new characters like Tien. They get a lot like One Piece. I like all the characters. There are a few Dragon Ball characters that I... There are ones that annoy the hell out of me, but when you go back to these characters, uh, they're all Dragon Ball characters, there's at least one point in Mysterio where I like them. There are characters that I used to like, that I don't like anymore because of what's being done with them. But it has so many great, great characters. It's just so good. It's a great cast of characters. Um, the interaction between the characters. All, almost all the characters play off of each other really well. There are some cases where it's not always well done, but almost all the characters can be written to play off of each other really well. And I like that. Yeah, that's something I always say. Char main characters need to play off of each other well. If they don't, that's going to severely hurt the theory. For me, at least. I mean, though, the characters are another thing. I talked about the fight, the choreography, the lore. I like theory with lore. That's one of the things I like about One Piece. You see, there's a lot of things in Dragon Ball that I just like, that, that are in One Piece, that One Piece does better, and that's one of the reasons I like it so much. That's one of the reasons I went from Dragon Ball being my favorite series of all time to this. Because a lot of the, the lore, the lore in Dragon Ball is so interesting. Japanese, the Lord so interesting. Even after dropping Super, I still, last night, I was sitting there in Discord. I went into the Super Weekly chat and talked to Mr. Ninja Star, and I was like, what happened this week? Even though I don't want to watch it, I still need to make sure I know all about the lore. Why I keep on showing you this One Piece volume? I don't know. Because I probably because I'm gonna be reading it at reading it in the car later. But whatever. But the point is is that it's really good. The lore is great. I love how how Goku started as a monkey boy and we didn't get anything. There's something that I like about the way Toriyama did that. I think it's because when you when we in the real life, you're not gonna get foreshadowing in real life. Right, you know what I mean? Like there was no way of foreshadowing Goku being an alien. Like, you could easily do it, but it makes it more realistic that they all were kind of like, whatever. Like, Goku has a tail, they live in a place with all these talking animals, so it's not that weird. So it ignored it, and it makes it more like, oh, he's an alien. Like, I figured, but cool. And like, when you really, when you build something up, I feel like Toriyama handled it correctly. If he had built up Goku being an alien, it would have it would have ruined it. It would not have lived up to the hype. Toriyama does not build things up a lot all the time. Sometimes you throw something in there, and that helps it be epic because we had no expectation. Like let's be honest, if he had spent the entire theory building up this Goku stuff, we would have seen this lame this lame reveal from Raditz, and we would have been like. Is it that? God, this is freaking lame. It's like a rip off of Superman's origin. Like, we would have been pissed if this had been built up for months and months and years and years, but it wasn't. Trauma's a great writer. He was smart enough to just randomly reveal it. Like, sure, he toyed around with the idea, but he didn't hype it up. I like that. He didn't ruin it. Toriyama is just. He's a great writer. Dragon Ball funny, too, by the way. I mean, not so much anymore now that I'm older. It, I mean, it, the only, I only, I can only, I can, I can probably name like two anime that can sometimes make me laugh out. I mean, the last time I laughed out loud wa watching an anime that wasn't One Piece 
Well, probably the, the episode of Naruto, where Kakashi trolled Naruto about his Jonin rank. That would I mean, that was like a month or two ago. Like I don't laugh out loud constantly when I watch anime, but when I was a kid, I would always laugh in Dragon Ball. Toriyama's gag humor is great for children, and it's really childish good humor, and it's also very net worldwide humor. Like the like, like like, uh, Gohan in the Battle of God movie. Gohan gets drunk and does something dumb. The dad, the, the future father gets drunk and does something dumb and injures his wife. And guess what? He doesn't know his wife is pregnant yet. It's a joke. It's like, all, all of a sudden, I'm holding the gun to try to head in the Battle of God. Like, that was just general humor. Like, the, a lot of animes have very Japanese humor. And if anybody here has seen One Piece, you would know Lao G. I'm looking at Lao G and I'm like, what's the joke with the G? I don't get it. I didn't understand the joke. I didn't get it because I went to Japanese. And even when I started looking into it, I still didn't get the joke. When he's like, G! I, 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 I didn't get it. It was, it was really weird, like, in New York Walk One Piece, there's a character, Lao G, who always makes the shape of, like, a G with its arms, and he'll yell, G! Randomly, and it's odd and honestly not very funny to me, but Dragon Ball humor, it's always funny. I'm always laughing at it, no matter what. And last but not least, Dragon Ball is always, is 99% of the time, 90, 80% of the time entertaining. What I mean by this is, even when Dragon Ball isn't good, it's entertaining. The problem with a lot of other theories is when they're not good, like when One Piece isn't good, it's because the chapter is really boring and dragged out. <laughs> like, there are chapters of Naruto that puts people to sleep at times. Like, when a theory is boring, that's the problem. When it's bad and boring, that's the problem. Dragon Ball is rarely bad and boring at the same time. It is bad, especially Super can be, but it rarely is like that. And honestly, I kind of wanted to ramble and say, I do like Dragon Ball. I do like it, and I'm still going to talk about it if I ever think of any good Dragon Ball discussion video. I may do... Uh, I'm going, by the time you guys see this video, I will have already uploaded my, uh, Nico Robin character discussion. I may do some Dragon Ball characters. I may do a Tien video. A character discussion on Tien. I may do a character discussion on Goku, Gohan, Bulma. You know, I may talk about Bulma. That would actually be very interesting to talk about Bulma. Nobody, Bulma does not get enough love. Another thing. But non fighting characters get spotlight. The non-fighting characters are useful. Oh my god, it's amazing. Not many other shonen can do that. One Piece kind of does it. But even in One Piece, there's a bar where the fans are kind of like, they're useless. But Dragon Ball makes these characters like Bulma look useful without them fighting. Which I love. Like, I love it. And they're all, just, Dragon Ball great, alright? Even, and I also like the background characters are interesting. A lot of the problems I have with Dragon Ball are actually from a fan base, if I'm being honest. But, yeah, so Dragon Ball's a very interesting theory. It's a very good theory. And, and if you're about Super, I still stick by what I say when I say Super isn't good. But that's Super. That doesn't mean I can't like Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. Or the, or the 50, or the 42 volumes of the manga. Why can't I like those? Those are good! And what well, isn't it to like... But, and I am honestly, let me be honest, I can say I enjoy Dragon Ball 90% of the time up until the Boo Arc. Like, it takes until the Boo Arc for it to get bad. It's not until the Boo Arc. I mean, Dragon Ball really good. And if you don't think it's good, well, give it a try. Read the manga. Watch it in Japanese. It's a good theory. There's a reason when I started this channel, I wanted it involved in the channel, and for a while, it was definitely really heavily involved in the channel. Now, in case you haven't noticed, I do plan on pushing Naruto. Now, I'm... Honestly, I've been busy, but I've, I've been busy and a little unmotivated the past couple of weeks, so there's been a little bit less of it. But... 
I just wanted to explain that I do like Dragon Ball. I just can't talk about Super. Because I'm not going to be watching it. And that would be lame of me. So, yeah. I'm going to be heading out now. The Nico Robin video should already be up. Hope you guys enjoyed that and this video. I'm recording all these in one sitting. Because I have a couple hours on my side right now. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like the video if you enjoyed. Tell me why you like Dragon Ball in the comment section down below. And have a great day, guys.